that was Laura Hafeli reporting. Now, as we continue the coverage for Hispanic Heritage Month, we, with our special Una Familia reports at KPIX, today we shared the story of a local artist portraying the issues Latinos face through her, art, her artwork. This is Fabiana Rodriguez. Fabiana Rodriguez is taking us into her sanctuary where she can express herself and imagine what change can look like. Something she has been envisioning since she was a child growing up in East Oakland. I grew up during the era of the war on drugs, and so I, I saw a lot of inequality. I witnessed a lot of violence, and I just recognized that my community was being neglected. So she escaped through art, and she began to create. Her art today reflects her lived experiences, including growing up in a polluted neighborhood. And I just noticed that um, People in my community were sicker than in other communities. There was a lot of kids with asthma due to the pollution from the 880 freeway. Um, there was a lot of factories in East Oakland around that time. So she creates what she wants to see in her pieces. You'll find a lot of color, a lot of green. Here's a tree. I love including trees in my work. Recently, she collaborated with the Warriors and Markham Elementary. Trees were planted, and she created a mural based on what the students wanted to see. It's really a testament to how we can bring together the ideas of nature and art in order to address climate injustice, because the most impacted in climate change are black and brown people. Another issue she highlights in her art, immigration. One of her most popular pieces is her monarch butterfly, a symbol that signifies support for DACA recipients. What if we were to celebrate the beauty of migration, the fact that migration is actually a very natural thing? In the butterfly, you'll find two faces looking at each other. Because they love each other, and often migrants migrate because of love, whether it's love towards themselves and a desire to have a better life, or it's love for their family members who they want to be reunited with. Along an art piece with just three words, migration is beautiful, comes the hope that people will understand a key issue Latinos face in the U.S. Art and culture more broadly informs how we see the world. It informs how we relate to each other because the way that we run our political systems are informed by the stories that we tell each other as a society. Faviana's art is living throughout the Bay Area, including in the Presidio Tunnel Tops. As you walk, you'll find animals, symbols, color. My goal was to honor all of the creatures who were on these lands before colonization. So in this piece, I collaborated with local leaders from the Ramatush Ohlone tribe to imagine what uh, a bold statement could look like and I really love that we included the name of what this land used to be called, which is Yelamu. Faviana's art comes from years of lived experience, and it was also inspired by what Latinos hold on to, what they value deeply, familia. This is my father. Um, this is my brother. All right, well, Fabiana Rodriguez there, she uh, comes from a family of Peruvian immigrants, and she was just saying how, how much that has also influenced her art. Mm -hmm. uh, but also when she used to walk into museums and see art pieces, a lot of the times it was for males, um, and so she wants to put more diversity in there. So she's Latina, she's a woman, that's her goal, and she mm -hmm. wants to influence the next generation. I 